few questions for you. Okay. Um, at first, can you introduce yourself and tell me something about your work? Okay, um, my name is Hamish McPherson. Uh, I, I'm a choreographer based in London. Um, I suppose I work less, mu less so much in performance, but using some choreographic technologies um, to think about um, politics in a very broad sense of the word and how we think through our bodies and what, uh, and how, what are the embodied elements of politics. Mm, okay. And what makes this lecture particularly interesting for you and your work? Um, well, a year or so ago I came across, um, and then I came across the idea of care, care ethics. It seems to provide um, quite a useful theoretical frame for some of the things that I was doing, which was about how can people uh, be together and use sort of uh, dance practices to kind of think and relate to one another. And then to come across uh, care ethics as a, a way that was describing um, a form of ethics that was, wasn't just kind of cognitive, that was using like, physical and emotional sides of relations. And it seemed to be describing what was happening uh, in a dance studio. Mm -hmm. And how is that important, according to you? Um, in a nutshell, because I think sort of traditional ethics uh, or traditional philosophy or even traditional Western thought um, is kind of abstracted. Um, and I think there's a certain sort of violence in abstraction because by generalizing that situation, you're automatically um, excluding certain types of people or certain people. And so by finding a way of thinking about the world that was very particular and like attending to you know, who, is, who is here right now in this moment see, seems as it has the potential to kind of resist that violence of mm -hmm. abstraction. Mm -hmm. um, then what's the most important thing you learned from ethics of care? Maybe you've answered it already. Um, gosh. <laughs> most important thing I've learned, I guess, just that there is this kind of um, field, just being aware that there's this field that's kind of almost, to me, it seems that it's talking about the same kind of things that maybe certain forms of dance, that there is also dance practitioners are thinking about, and, and then thinking, well, maybe there's a right place for this um, paradigm shift that mm -hmm. Maurice was talking about today. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what can ethics of care you regard from you in your work? Um, well, uh, hopefully some some of these sort of methodologies that that I use that are not particular to me and lots of other people mm -hmm. uh, working with them, but hopefully these kinds of uh, yeah these kind of methods of thinking physically uh, in embodied ways collectively may may offer kind of clues to ways that um, care ethics can be articulated or kind of thought through that aren't just in a book or in a classroom. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Um, have you gained some new insights after this lecture today and that you can use in your own work? Uh, for sure, yeah. I mean, there's some, this is uh, the exact term about, but in Maurice's uh, paper that he was talking to today, about he was mm -hmm. talking about um, experiencing other worlds, or, you know, there's, a, there's an element, there's a project there within care ethics of being able to um, understand the, kind of the worlds of other people and mm -hmm. This is like an you know, interesting uh, sort of concept and interesting um, sort of description to think about like, what, what's happening when people spend time together. So how do you, you use it in your own work? Um, I think it just adds another way, another kind of more language or more terms that I can explain to people either within it or that are thinking about my work. It's another, another reference point to sort of share the way um, you know, the, the broader applications of the things that I'm doing, or, or the fact that the, these um, practices that might be thought of aesthetic mm -hmm. um, are kind of actually ethical practices, and this kind of relationship between aesthetics and ethics today was another useful bridge that I can help make that point uh, implicitly and explicitly in my work. Okay, thank you very much for this short interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.